it's Kevin Purcell for GottaBeMobile.com, and I've got the Apple iPhone 5. I want to do a quick how-to for setting up a passcode lock. This is real simple. Just go into Settings, find a General, and tap on that. You'll have to scroll down with your finger a bit so you can get to the passcode lock option. Tap on that, and here's what you'll see by default. In order to turn it on, it's real easy. Hit the Turn On button, enter in a number. I'll do 10. 12. It'll ask you to confirm it. And after a brief pause, that sets your passcode lock. Now, and whenever you want to turn on the screen, you'll have to enter in that same four digit passcode lock. Now, here's some options. Now, I said this was by default. Actually, by default, you'll have these three Siri, Passbook, and Reply with Message will be turned on by default. Um, what those do is those allow you to access those three features without using the passcode. For example, if you're driving down the road and you want to quick make a quick phone call without having to dial it in, so you just use Siri and say, you know, call my wife. And you won't have to enter the passcode lock in order to access Siri. For the same reason, passbook. Maybe you're at a store checkout, you want to take out uh, passbook in order to access your um, your favorite uh, you know, shopping card that you've stored in one of the passbook apps. You can do it that way. Reply with message if someone gives you a phone call and you can't answer it because you're in a meeting and you've got a reply with message that says, uh, can't call, talk now, I'm in a meeting. You can do that without having to enter your passcode lock. Now what we've done is we've set the simple passcode. You can turn that off. And if you do that, first of all, it'll ask you to enter that simple passcode. And now you get this screen, which allows you to use anything you want as a passcode. But we're not going to do that. We'll just cancel it. The require passcode immediately setting right there above that simple option lets you set the timeout feature. For example, uh, if you set it for one minute and then you've been using your phone, you turn it off, and then within a minute you say, oh, no, I need to get back to access something else, turn it on and it won't ask you for the passcode. You can set it to five minutes, 15 minutes, and one hour. I really wouldn't recommend either one of those. Um, you know, that's just not very secure. I really wouldn't recommend anything less than, or anything more than the one minute. I personally would prefer the immediate. That's the most secure option there. Um, and then down here, another security feature is this erase data. If you set that to on and then hit enable, what happens is, let's say someone wants to uh, access your phone and they don't know the passcode, so you know they're just entering things see it says one failed passcode attempt if I do that ten times it'll erase your whole phone after the tenth failed attempt and so we don't want that now just one last word about choosing passcodes don't when you when you use a numeric passcode don't choose something that is easy for a person to get access to like the last four digits of your phone number your street address uh, your birthday uh, those kinds of numbers are easy to find out uh, by either maybe a prankster or a bad guy wanting access to your secure data in order to steal your identity. Same with uh, a longer passcodes. Don't use words. Uh, use nonsensical words. That's what I like. That You can pronounce them, but they, they don't make any sense. And uh, a combination of numbers and letters is really the best option, and even more secure is a really long one, you know, 10, 12-digit uh, passcode. But this has been Kevin Purcell for Gotta Be Mobile showing you how to uh, set the passcode lock for your lock screen on your Apple iPhone 5. This works by the way on iPad and other iOS devices as well. Thanks for watching.